Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a uh, video here on setting up a dipole in my attic. This is for uh, CB, and how I got this rigged up here is I got uh, kind of a pulley system, just using some hooks. Got a milk jug here with some rocks in it. Down on the other side, I have the same thing rigged up. That's just to uh, keep it kind of taut. You don't want it super taut or su pulled super tight. Um, I actually was reading on some amateur radio posts, and they're saying that you, um, you know, you don't want them pulled that tight. A little bit of drooping, like as you can see here, a little bit of drooping isn't that big of a deal, and it, some people actually think it's beneficial. So don't worry too much about that. Um, so t to sh do your SWR tuning, you have to shorten or lengthen it. Um, if you got a higher SWR on channel 40, you got to shorten it. So I had to shorten the antenna here using a little PVC pipe. I just looped the end of the dipole around there, used some twist ties to keep it looped. Um, this is the insulator, the end of the dipole. This is a, a Falcon dipole that I got off of Amazon. Works pretty good. Uh, horizontal setup is best for skip talking and skip listening. So that's how I got it set up, but you can do inverted V or other types of configurations for whatever type of listening or transmitting you want to do. Um, this this configuration or this setup here had a lot of SWR actually, so I ended up having to get one of these RF chokes. It's just encased in PVC here. Pick that up off of off of Amazon as well. You just run your coax into it out the other end. That prevents RF signal coming back down the line, being reflected back down. That's what causes your SWR. So that helps immensely. Got my SWR down to 1.5. And uh, here's the center here where it hooks up. Just got my coax in there. Tied it to a hook in the ceiling. And I'll go over to the other side and show you the same sort of pulley setup to keep it held tight. Just got it rigged up here. Um, another jug with rocks in it and the PVC pipe. You want to shorten it equally on both ends. So that's what I that's what I did here. Another PVC pipe and you can actually configure your dipole. You can do it vertically if you want. Um, they say if you want to do that though to always use Lighting is really crappy, sorry. If you want to do that, use the red end. I, I think this red end with the red insulator here is the is the end that uh, does the transmitting. So you always want to have, if you do a vertical configuration, you always want that pointing up. Initially, I had this dipole strung up on the peak of the attic here. But uh, that had a lot of SWR like that. I think there's some metal flashing at the peak there. That was reflecting a lot of the RF or radio uh, signal. Radio frequency signal back down the line. So I had to crawl back up here, which is kind of a pain. But that's how you do your, how you do a dipole setup at the antenna, or in the attic. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.